Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today, the Walking Wanderers are at home to Slough Town FC in the National League South. Last week's result was a one all draw with Ebbs Beat United. Finally got a score prediction right guys. Hey! <laughs> um, I thought last week we had the chances to win the game ourselves. A draw was probably fair, so... And if you guys haven't checked that video out, it'll be up there or there. Um, but yeah. To Sal Scout Report. So, the club's top scorer goes by the name of Alfonso Ten Tenkeny. I hope I said that right. With seven goals. Their last five, they've won one, which was against Maidstone, so that really helped us out. Um, two draws and two losses. So, a bit mix and match for them at the moment. Um, last time we played them was a 2 1 defeat at Arbor Park. That's their stadium, by the way, which has a capacity of around 2,000. Anyway, that game was was back in November, I think, something like that. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't a great day, but today, hopefully, we can turn it around. Um, on to my prediction. I don't know, this could be a banana skin today. Um, we've seen it with Slough in the past, like, a couple seasons. Especially at home, they're they're pretty good. But away, they're not not as great, but still could be a banana skin. So I'm gonna go, but I'm feeling confident. So I'm gonna go three one Dorking. I'll see you at Meadowbank. So Aiden, what's your score prediction for today? Um, I think it's gonna be a tight game. Mm -hmm. Um, and obviously Slough have beaten us before at their place. I think it was three one. Incorrect. Oh, I don't know. I think it was 2-1. Okay, 2-1. Uh, um, but today I'm going to go 2-1 to the Wanderers. 2-1 Wanderers. Yeah. Love that. See you guys at Meadowbank. <laughs> to Meadowbank. That's right. Meadowbank. Meadowbank is the home of Dorking Wanderers. Yes, and exactly. who didn't know that? It's literally snowing, like, it's snowing. <laughs> what is the UK right now? Right, so we're here with Ed Harris. How are you today? Mate? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not bad, looking forward to the game. Yeah, definitely. You've had a cracking season, mate, like, really good. And obviously, now going into like the final seven games, what, what are your thoughts? Do you think we can do it? Yeah, 100%. I think we have to believe that we can do it. Um, I think as a club it's exciting, especially yeah, for you guys, exciting. right? Definitely. Like, um, yeah. so yeah, like we believe fully that we can yeah, exactly. we can do it, and we've just got to take each game as it, yeah. as it comes. As it comes, yeah, exactly. Like both, like they, they're never easy, especially this late in the season. Yeah. Anyways, so getting into this, it's just a quick fire random questions yeah. just to get to know. So we'll get in whenever you're ready. Yeah, go on then. Let's go. Right. So first question is, what is your food, heaven and hell? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, heaven has to be anything Italian, so oh, like yeah. a homemade lasagna or a nice pasta. Um, hell, so that means something that I don't like. Yeah, you don't like. Oh, good. Um, it's alright if you don't have one. I don't, I, do you know what? I'm so greedy. I, I yeah. just love food, love so it. I'm going to say, I, I don't know, I can't pick off the top of my head. That's fair enough, yeah. mate. Um, what do you enjoy doing away from food? Uh, spending time with my family, yeah. uh, I've got a dog that I'm obsessed with, so oh, we're yeah. a dog, I like Formula One as well, so like watching sports, so yeah, sports. yeah a bit of everything really. Pre-injury or 
interesting. Um, who's your football idol? God, I have a few to be fair. I think Ooh. JP is one of them because I've played him so many <laughs> years. But um, no, in all seriousness, I think growing up, Frank Lampard at Chelsea or Zola are probably the two that come to mind. That really, you're probably too young to remember yeah, Zola, right? Yeah, but yeah, um, Frank Lampard was was probably the one that I really looked Brilliant. up to. Yeah. Uh, do you have any superstitions before, like today, before a game? Not any weird superstition. Yeah. Some of the boys have some strange ones, yeah, but okay. I like to stick into like a routine. So yeah. I always turn up really early, like half an hour, 40 minutes before the game. Pretty much eat the same thing on a Friday night and a Saturday morning. So they're kind of superstitions. superstitions um, yeah. My girlfriend doesn't like them because on a Friday we're up after and chicken. But every, every Friday. Yeah, not <laughs> not not anything strange like strange. putting one sock yeah. on first and so on. But yeah, just sticking to the same routine really. Yeah, very interesting. Um, your best moment on a football pitch, I'm sure there's loads. Uh, yeah, I think the year, so when I was at Haven, um, I missed the whole season through injury, an ACL injury. So then the following year, I managed to get back in the team and played basically every game and we, we won the league. So I think oh, yeah. that we found out as we was on the pitch because the yes, other game had yes. stopped and, and yeah. they had lost. So I think that five minutes of playing but knowing that we were champions was like, like yeah, yeah. It, was, it was an amazing feeling. Special. Yeah, it was yeah. really special. So yeah, hopefully we'll have the same this year, right? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what we hope yeah. for. Um, and finally, this is, this, this is for like, to dish as much dirt as you possibly can. Which of your teammates would you not want to sit next to on a long journey like bar and wine? Oh, what a question that is. Um, we, we have our seats that we normally sit, so I'm quite that comfortable in my group, but if I was to pick one person, potentially... Oh, that's a really good one. <laughs> maybe, maybe Nicky or Alfie, because I think they got a lot of energy, so... Um, I don't know if they'd have that that chill button where they just if you want to have a little nap or just sit there, they're constantly going to talk. But to be fair, all the lads like I'd sit next to all of them, but they're probably the two that I'd pick because they got yeah. so much energy. Oh, finally someone like that's not Briggsy. Everyone's just Briggsy. Briggo. I quite like. I'd, I'd like to sit next to Briggo. I like picking his brains on like Formula yeah. One stuff, what he does for work. Briggo's really quiet, but he, he's um, no, he's interesting as well. He's very intelligent. So uh, I think I would. I'd quite like to sit next to him, but he doesn't get on the coach too often to be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, I heard he drives quite a lot. Yeah, 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 he drives a lot, he drives a lot, so. Thank you very much. All right, mate, top man, keep it up, keep it up.
make some play. Slough nil. I thought first ten minutes probably the better team, but ever since Slough have grown into it and uh, they've been putting pressure on us every two minutes. Uh, big second half. Come on, come on, you wonders. Controls. League winning, top winning side. Well done, boys. 
boys, shout out to you.
It finishes here, Dorkian 5, Slough 0. From a goal scoring point of view, that was a perfect performance. We had the penalty that probably we should have scored. Um, but I mean, a win's a win, and I'm not complaining. But I thought there were quite a lot of sloppy, lazy passes as well within there. So just need to sharpen up with that. There's not a vlog next Saturday because we're not playing. But there will be on Good Friday and Easter Monday, so a double. So I will see you guys Good Friday. I think it's chipping on. See you.